Hi, so welcome to WordPress. My name is Matthew from Zifly Studios. All right, so I'm going to be showing you, giving you just a view of WordPress, giving an introductory view of WordPress. So if you're new to WordPress and you just want to explore and you want to know what each of these actually means, I'm going to explain that in this video. It's going to, I'm going to try to make the video as short as possible and make it as simple as possible for you to understand this all right so currently if you notice you see welcome to wordpress especially after installing wordpress this is what you're going to be getting um once you get to the back end of your wordpress site so if you don't know how to install wordpress i'll keep a video in the description below or probably above so you could just click on it and go ahead to install your own wordpress site on your domain all right so the next thing i want to talk to you about is this wordpress so welcome to wordpress so first we have the current version of wordpress in 2023 as of this moment is 6.3.1 so every wordpress site should be on this version um unless they are outdated now um why wordpress release versions is to combat security issues and to make sure that the wordpress ecosystem is constantly safe okay so now so Take much of your time i'm just going to go through all of this all right so what we want to talk about first is we talk about this so we have something called my blog okay so you could do two things you can view the front end of your site by just tapping on it and you take you to the front end of your wordpress site so basically this is the front end of your wordpress site if somebody visits your site of your domain currently as of this moment this is what you're going to see uh, it's it basically has nothing but all of these can be beautified all of these can be made perfect okay so i'm going to show you how to do that probably in subsequent videos but for now let me just walk you through so if you want to go back you just click on it and it will take you to the dashboard which is the back end so for a proper understanding what we are uh, what i normally do is i just click or just make sure my um, Qson is on it. I right click and open in a new tab. So once I open a new tab, I have both the back from this side and the front from this side. So whatever design or changes I am making, it will be visible here. So I'll be able to see them here. So the next thing you want to look at is you want to look at updates now. So home generally is the same thing as going to the front and back. It's all home, your blog here, your dashboard is basically everything here. Your home is the home. Of your dashboard <laughs> all right so we have the updates so this way you're going to be seeing um your outdated themes your outdated plugins and all i know these words sound somehow i'm going to explain them as time comes up so first you can see currently that we are using the current version so this site is automatically kept to update with each new with each new version of wordpress so as wordpress of uh, this new version the system will automatically update itself so you can do well to reinstall but basically you just leave that for now so wordpress comes with few plugins but we'll get back to this so this is where you're going to find all your updated themes and plugins so the next thing i want to talk about is your post so generally your post uh, helps you to post blog blog content okay so if you visit any site um, let me show you our site which is ziflightstudios.com all right so if you can make sure to allow okay um just allow this so we will be able to send your notifications now if you come to the blog aspect of our site so currently we don't have any blog um we're, we're currently running an update on our site so but everything you're going to be posting in your blog will appear on your blog page okay so what you want to do is your posts are what appears on the blog so if you have a blog or probably visit a news blog what they normally use is with posts so all you want to do is you want to keep on creating posts so you could view all your posts so all of the posts you have created over time so currently on this side we just have hello world now your wordpress site could be in two things so wordpress is one of the best cmr out there which is your content management system c m uh, cms sorry <laughs> not cmr okay content management system which is your cms it's one of the best so what it does it helps you create blog posts so generally wordpress started as a blog right but over the years the ecosystem has involved not just creating blog but also creating um websites okay so i'm going to show you what it means which is the static and the blog so currently your site is on blog all right so you could just keep on posting and it just appear here now if you want to post a new 
Now, if you want to drop a new post, you just click on add new and it will take you to the WordPress block editor, right? So with the WordPress block editor, you'll be able to edit your blog post and all of that. So your WordPress, um, opening your, the ad, okay, adding new post and adding new page sometimes may take long, but just be patient, you get that. So this is WordPress blog editor for your post. Here's where you're going to be writing the title of your post, basically. And uh, you could be writing the content, what right? is the body of your post. So if this is um, a news blog, I don't know what to write, nothing's coming to my head, but basically this way you write your title, and this way you're going to be writing the content, the body of your post. Now, if you want to add things like you want to add images and all, so just click on this icon, and you get to see images, you get to see heading, gallery, and the list of all, you get to browse all of this. So there's so much more you could do with creating blog, but these are the basics that WordPress provides for you. But the th good thing is everything is customizable. But for your blog and your post, uh, you just want to make sure you're writing the title, you're putting the content, and probably if you have subheading, so you going you want to make sure that you're using the heading. Okay, then the heading size also matter, which is your H3. So the higher you go, the smaller it becomes, and all. So I'll just go back. All right, so like I said, this is where you're going to see all your posts. You can add posts, you can add categories. So your posts could be in categories. You could add tags and all. So what we have next is our media. So for every image you add to your WordPress site, it will be stored in the media. You'll be able to see or assess all of them through the media here. So this is what, what I will actually tell you. You don't upload videos onto your WordPress site, okay? Don't do that. It's going to make your site very slow. It's going to cause so much trouble between you and your hosting providers because your shared hosting or whatever hosting, most times shared hosting, which is what the many people use, doesn't really have the capacity to carry such load. So what we do and what WordPress makes provision for is it makes provision for you to post links, right? So you could upload the video on YouTube or Vimeo or any service out there and bring the link down to WordPress and just post it and your video will play like it's built on your site. All right, so like I said, this is where you're going to find all your media. For your pages, this is where you're going to see all the pages and add new pages. Then you'll be able to view the comments on your site. So if you have a blog post out there, somebody commented, uh, you'll be able to see all of that. So you can see the comments, right? So this is basically what WordPress is just showing you as an example. So you could, this is an unapproved comment. You could approve, you can trash, you can make this comment spam and all of that. The next thing I want to talk about is appearance. So appearance comes with what we call theme, right? Now, WordPress releases every year, they release a new theme. So it, the theme goes with the year. So we have the 2023 team, we have your 2021 team, we have your 2022 team. And by next year, there will not be any that's the 2021, you have your 2024, 2023, and 2022. So WordPress just make sure that they keep um, three themes on the back end. So when you create your site, or probably get an external theme, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you delete two and just leave one. You must leave one default WordPress team. Now, why you're deleting them is to just release the load on your WordPress site. Now, let me explain in a nutshell what teams are. Teams really give your site a, the appearance, okay? I'm going to show you an example. So basically, this is the appearance of your site currently. Now, if we decide to add this team, let's click on active. Activate, sorry. So if we decide to activate version 2022 team, um, and we refresh this. So this is a different appearance, right? Now, don't worry about all of this. If you keep following WordPress or if you keep follow the link below, I'm going to be showing you how to create a site. You will know how to make site beautiful through templates and templates and all. It's basic and it's simple. Now, um, this is just the appearance of this team. So if I click on add new, WordPress takes me to their library. WordPress has a vast library of themes, right? Now, most of those themes are not created by WordPress, okay? So WordPress has a vast library where people create themes and plugins, and they offer some of them for free, while some of them comes at a payment, okay? So generally, basic themes you should know and should try is what we call, first is your Ocean WP, one of the best things out there. Um, I think it was the second theme I used in my WordPress exploration. The next thing I actually checked out is Astra, okay? Astra is also one beautiful team you should check out. 
and you could install them and activate their free astra and wp ocean wp offer you free templates also that you could use for your website now um this is basically everything about team which gives the site the appearance the next one to talk about is your plugins now the plugins are like external software i'll give you an example when you get a new phone or a new system um, your phone is basic you just have your oh you'll be able to call and all but you need other application to further boost the um the capacity of your phone probably you need an application to get access to facebook an application to get access to whatsapp all of this application comes together to build boost what the, your phone can do the capability of your phone that's the same thing as your plugin so plugins are to me they're like your external software that makes wordpress more flexible and that boosts the flexibility of your wordpress making it do a lot of things i'll give you an example so now wordpress comes with few plugins so we have your catch okay your catch plugin uh, we have loginizer we have your hello we have your esquemes so sorry for the pronunciation i may be bad at pronunciation okay so generally wordpress provides you with plugins right free plugins also depending on what you want to do all you will need to do is click on add new and uh, you get access to the library of plugins so for instance if i want to add a whatsapp so people could just send a whatsapp message from my wordpress site i just want to click on whatsapp and i probably will get teams that uh fit that description but the best thing to do is actually to just read read up blogs and check out videos it gives you the ability to know okay what works best and uh get other people's insight and makes your journey easy so we have click to chat we have join chat we have click to chat app okay we have click to chat app we have all of these app now all of these are not whatsapp okay whatsapp chat bots right they are more like um uh, a live chat right your 3x is one of the best live chat out there if you want to do video conferencing or uh, you want to do video conferencing from your site and all of those you should check them out uh, it's actually free uh for now i'm just going to leave that so you could do a lot so whatever flexibility you want to do with wordpress you want to add new email listing you want to send automated mail from your wordpress site you want to allow people to chat you want people to send you a live chat or from wordpress depending on what you want to do wordpress gives you the ability to dream and there is always a plugin to support your dream and to make it a reality then the next thing is your user right so basically what the user too is for is uh it just give you access okay so if you've watched the video of installing wordpress you notice that we created a user and your i advised i advised in that video that you make sure you put in your name or whatever name you want to use as your user for instance you can look at the user name here with scrap okay so you want to make sure you have the correct users you have your email address and these are an administrator so the administration permission gives the user the ability to control every part of the website so we have different permission or different rules so if you click on change we have subscriber which is the basic contributor we have author we have editor and all of that so you could add a new user and probably i want to create a login or an access for a friend to access this site so i'm going to do click on add new put in the username maybe my friend name is matthew so i want to put in that put in their email um their first name their last name if they have a website i can put it then i could choose this password or just create a stronger password right then it says send notification so you could send an email to this person to tell you okay we've created an account for you then you want to make sure you're giving them the right rule all right so we have your tools right tools provide different things we have the available tools this helps you to import and export wordpress this helps your site checks your site health and all then we have your settings so for me this is like one of the most important parts of wordpress so because it helps you regulate a bit of some things so first you want to go to general and here you'll be able to change your wordpress site so for instance you see this name is called my blog so i can just change it to testing site now you notice it changes immediately testing site the next thing that you can do is i can go to my wordpress blog and just change it to test 
in the world this is like the motto of your site all right so uh if you you can just click on your enter key on your laptop it's received automatically you just go down and click on save changes depending on what you want so don't change this don't change this you can do well to change your email address if you want now if your site if you have a website and you want people to be able to register you must check this anyone can register right and you want to know the rule you're giving them make sure you're giving them subscribers so they don't have access to all of this if this is on administrator then everybody has access to your site and trust me your site will be gone in no time so the language right you can just check that there so make sure you click on changes we're going to click on writing so writing you only keep your default categorical post start on category so every post if this is like that every post you make uh if you don't create new category uh it will just be on the categorized so if you have more categories you could just add that here or make it as the default of maybe you only call your default category post at all or depending on what you want so leave all of this is fine so you need know, to want to check on reading now this one part i told you i'm going to talk about um this part is now when you see it as your latest post it's more like a blog all right so it's um let me just refresh this so it is changed the test side this is like more like a blog meaning that you only can make posts so you could just have one post where you keep posting uh you just keep getting the post stuff here and all now if you keep it on static we have two things we have your home page which is a static page for people who probably and this page because we just generally have one page if we've created more page we just make a particular page your home so every time a person goes to your website the first thing they see is the page you put here which is called the home page then we have your post page now you once you create you can create a page dedicated and called blog so once you do that you can call me and select it and call the blog and make it your post page now do well to click on save changes when that's done we have discussion so this generally just talks about certain features that you want to moderate so just go around check check what suits you right go use go through it and um I did what suits you but for me i just leave it like that you have your media which is the same thing as what i showed you already so i only click on spam links right so you want to make sure you leave this as post name right it's more friendly to it's more friendly to search engine okay so so just make sure you do that if it has post name you can click on your save changes then we've talked we'll talk about privacy so you want to create a privacy page right so people could just make sure to check on your privacy and all of that so other things so this is a short run through of everything about wordpress um everything you need to know about WordPress. So as time goes on if you begin to explore you're going to learn more so if this video was helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the bell icon share and i'll catch you in another video somewhere else have a nice time my name is matthew and this is the flight studio